Today we've come to Mullins Beach uh, to see how climate change has affected this area and it used to be a huge tourist destination but sadly because of climate change the sea levels risen, sand's gone and the rocks have come up. This has meant that the coral has sadly broken and coming in onto the beach which has meant small fishes have nowhere to stay which leads to big fishes not having no food and the, uh, the fishermen having no fish to catch which has affected the, uh, the Bayesian community. Look, look all that. That's all coral. Ow. You know, Barbados is a place where people come for tourism. If there's no beaches, if there's no corals, if there's no beautiful beach uh, fishes, people will not come. And most of the actual income for these islands is tourism. Okay. Um, we're currently looking at the damaged coral near the, quite near the beach actually and it, it looks very different to what we saw. It looks a lot more dead and there's a lot less fish. Instead of plants, they look more like rocks. Well, if that happens with all the coral, then it's going to be a lot of fish that's dying because they have nowhere to feed. And kids are usually the most affected. On all these islands, about 40% of the population are kids. I've lived here all my life. Uh, my family, you know, we, my sister and I, we grew up here. The change is kind of drastic. Um, first of all, the water never used to be this far up. So now the houses that are built near to the beach, when you have high tide, it goes into their houses. And when the sea water hits the galvanize, it rusts. And that is trouble for them because then their houses are kind of falling apart. And in some cases, the water is kind of taking the houses out into the sea. The sad part is that Caribbean islands like this, they're not the, the ones who are producing the pollution yeah. and munition that's, that's actually causing the climate change. Climate change is actually happening really fast and especially around the Caribbean area, the coral reef needs to be protected and maybe if that could be addressed more to like even tourists and people living in, in the Caribbean, they would be better.